Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Simple Charm Living. My name is Desiree and I am a middle school science teacher. And I just wanted to show you something that I do with my students that, I'm, that I started this year, is to create stickers for all the labs that we do in class. So if a student, if they do every part of the lab, then they get a sticker. If they don't do all the parts of the lab and they forget a part, they don't get a sticker. And the idea behind it is if they complete it all for each quarter and they have the most stickers, they will get a special prize at the end of the quarter. So I just thought I would show you how I create my own stickers and print them out for my students. So the first thing is I go to Canva and I create my own stickers using the elements that are here. So if I wanted the earth or the atmosphere, You can see this picture that I selected, this one popped up for it. So this is what I'm gonna use for our lab that we did for our greenhouse effect. So I'm using this specific sticker here. Then I go ahead and save that down to my computer and, and then I go back to my silhouette. And there's a few things that we have to do prior to printing it out and cutting it. So the first thing is at the top right here of my menu, I want to open up shows a white paper and it is the open the page setup panel so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're gonna make sure that we go to our media size here and we select letter so now that is going to kind of cut our mat in a different direction here the next thing we want to do is to look at our top menu here and view and select registration marks and then a new pop-up menu will appear, and then you wanna click on. At that point, you will see that the registration marks have appeared on my screen. To open up an object to place into my area here, I'm going to select open. And then I clicked on this one. Um, obviously, it is a lot smaller than what you want it to be here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And then I have a variety of different stickers. So I'm going to use my tracing tool. So open the trace panel. I'm going to select trace area. And I will go ahead and select this one specifically. Now you can see that the threshold shows a little bit of yellow. Ideally, I want this to be completely yellow. So I will go to this little lever and I pretty much want it to be the entire circle, like that. Then I'm going to click on Trace and Detach. And ta-da! And then this part can just disappear. So now I have my graphic for my sticker. This is currently almost three inches. So I'm going to make it a lot smaller. And I believe I made it to be one inch on my previous one. So I just want to show you this. I, this is the one I created here. And each one turned out to be 1.3 inches or so. So then after this, you're going to go ahead and click on print. So file, print. And then you are going to send it to your computer to print and you're gonna print it on sticker paper. So then you click print and your computer will print out how you wanted it on your sticker paper and you will see that there are registration marks along the edges of the paper. And now I'm gonna add this to my cutting mat. One thing that you do wanna take notice on is to see where this first registration mark is. It is going to be in the main square over here. However, it is in the bottom right quadrant of that first square. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that onto my cutting board as well. You're gonna to wanna to select your first quadrant that's here, or your first box, and then the bottom right quadrant is here. So then I'm gonna place that on there. Next, I load it into my Cameo, and then I'm gonna go back to my device and click send.
back on my computer, I'm going to click send at the top. And this one specifically, you um, see that it's a simple tool that will work fine. And then you will see that there is a circle around each of the stickers that you want. I'm going to click on send. And it will tell me that the registration is now going to be reading. And here are the completed stickers. When you peel one of them up, you can see that the stickers have been cut nicely and they are ready to go. So far, these are the stickers that we have done in my class. Um, in this video, you saw the Greenhouse Effect Lab, but these are the other labs that we have seen previously. If you're interested in seeing what kind of labs we did for here, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below for them. They are on my Teachers Pay Teachers page, so you can go ahead and check those out. But essentially, this is what we did here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more classroom videos, give me a comment down below of what you would like to see, and I will see you in another video. Thank you.